Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Buddies. Today we have a little bit of a challenge. What do we got, Lloyd? Yeah, so this challenge is actually support your local distillery. <laughs> good idea to do yeah you know especially in these times very much so the the little distilleries of course are getting hit pretty hard by all this and yep. they need as much support from this community as possible it was brought on originally by andrew over in i believe australia from prestige liquids we got actually challenged by two channels antonio from whiskey quest yes sir which we'll put antonio right there also we got challenged by another very good friend of this channel. Of the channel, yeah. The big Oz, Ozzy. Yeah, man. Bottled in Bond, which we'll put in his channel. It's right above there. me again. All it's right. always above you. Why is it always above you? Well, oh, we can switch sides. Yeah, maybe. But well, we happen to have a lot of stuff here, extremely locally, like within 20 minutes, mm -hmm. or somewhere in the state of Pennsylvania. The original challenge was three. Was three. Yep. Um, and originally it was just three in your country, but. So how about we start with the one that's closest to where we are right now? So this is Social Still. And this specific bottle is called Tomboy, which is their straight bourbon whiskey. They're out of the uh, city of Bethlehem. Yeah, out of the city of Bethlehem. We've done a review on their products. Yeah, we have. That's a really cool place. Good, good food there yeah. at Social Still. Um, of course, they have your gins and your vodkas yep. and all that other stuff there. Yeah, that's, other that's your thing. So, mm -hmm. Moving on to another one that's fairly close. Moving on. This is Eight Oaks. And this particular bottle is a Pinot Noir finished bourbon. And it's actually very, very good. It's delicious. And I've had their port finished rye, which was very good. Now, what's cool about them is they're basically a farm to bottle kind yes. of thing. You know, they try to do it all in-house, everything. So yeah. definitely making some good stuff. I think it's like family run too. So a lot of people, they're all, you know, yeah. in, in the family and all in the family. When you finish stuff, it can turn out really good, can turn out yeah. uh, horribly wrong, but you can't put two bad things together. Like you can't put mm. like not a good bourbon in something that's not a good wine and expect some magic to happen. I mean, I guess it's possible, but yeah, it's highly, highly unlikely. unlikely. So they're doing a good job. What's the next closest to us? Well, the next closest actually would be Dad's Hat. And Dad's Hat specializes in a Pennsylvania style rye, which if you know your history, Pennsylvania, really we're like, we were the epicenter of whiskey. The epicenter, I yeah, like that. Yeah, all before bourbon and all that, everyone drank rye whiskey. We've but done a review on that. We have. Or actually on, that was a barrel proof. Would that be above your head again? I was gonna say, I was ah. waiting, I was waiting. It's gonna be right here. Yeah, it's right there. And you'll see these guys, if you don't live in Pennsylvania, you'll see it around. You'll see it around. It, it, makes, it's, it makes its rounds. They're they're a little bigger than just yes. local. Yeah, they're they're getting a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, big muscles here. They're right, a they're little growing. Bit. But they're making a good product. Thistle Finch. Right now, you here. speak highly of that one. I love this one. I really enjoy drinking this a lot it's uh it, it's solid products this will finch also is doing this whole you know getting local grain you know um they're specializing in rye again pennsylvania rye is pretty seem to be like make a little resurgence on that whole yeah thing. yeah and they do also a cool mash bill they're, they're doing you know a little bit of stuff differently where they're, they're kind of mixing it up where they're not using um corn I think they do uh, rye and wheat. Oh, that's cool. Which is a really cool yeah. kind of combo. They actually do an unaged rye. So it's just a white rye. And it's actually really good. And it's great if you want to replace anything like with vodka. You know, instead of using vodka in certain drinks, use their white, right. white rye. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, it's killer. Yeah, I can see that. You know, like on a Bloody Mary. It gives it a little bit more spice and pop. I can see adding the wheat to this, though, just to kind of take some edge off the yeah. rye and really get a cool flavor without having to use corn. We're all the way on one side of the state, mm -hmm. and this one is from all the way on the other side of the state, which is, li this is literally a stone's throw from my brother's house, who lives out in you know, Pittsburgh. But my sister actually found this because that is going to be her married name. Oh, my God. Neil and I sampled it, 
pretty much right away. <laughs> and then we, we kind of just did the neck pours. Like, yeah, it's not bad. And then we just had a little bit. And uh, it's surprisingly it, good. It really is. It really is. The oak from their barrels, they're saying on the back from up north. So because they have more rings, they feel as though that gives them a better flavor, which we know how the wood influences. So it would have to, you could argue, and the science behind it of why, you know, yep. why some barrels are better. It's probably has something to do with the wood, whether the way it breathes. They're saying it's the growth rings because you have more seasons and shorter seasons. So you get um, basically tighter growth rings, mm -hmm. which... I can understand the logic behind that, how true it is, I don't know, but it's it's something I would, you know, entertain the thought of anyway. It's definitely distinct. It right? is. I mean, it's it's actually very, very good. I was I was like I was really impressed with the second pour of it. Yeah, specifically with uh, the smaller distilleries, sometimes um, they're just trying to get their product tweaked and they're trying to, you know, figure out what their vision and what their um, I think they're, still, is. they're trying to figure it out. Not that they don't know how to make it, because they obviously have people that right. know how to make it, but how do we tweak it? Yeah. How do we refine it? And there is got to be a learning curve. There, and there has to be. You know? Like, you can't just go, oh, I'm a master distiller. I know exactly how to make whiskey, and you've never done it before. Like, you well, know. yeah, and where are you aging it? Yeah. Well, maybe you made really good whiskey somewhere else, but now the climate up here is different, and that's affecting your age. So there's so many factors. So, look, I've tried, when we were into the wine thing, how many local wines did we try? And we found some very, very good ones. Granted, they weren't as common as, you know, as plentiful as we would have liked. Right. But there was some that were really good. And you're going to get stuff that's just terrible. Yeah, but you, if but you, you don't try it. try it, you know, and there again, a lot of these places you can go and for not a lot of money, you can you can do a flight or whatever. And they're more than happy. And if you walk away, buying a bottle helps them, which they're doing, you know, something that we love. So at least, yeah. you know, it might not be your favorite thing if it's not. Give it to company who doesn't know any different. Mix it and drinks, you know? <laughs> you know what I really like also about the smaller distillers and the local distillers around, you know, you and I, is that they are giving, you know, the big distillers a run for their money. And they're pushing everybody and it helps everybody out. It helps the big distilleries. They can experiment. Yes. And they can find stuff that is unique because they don't have, I mean, they're do, not doing massive batches. So I would imagine they can try something and if it doesn't work out, to what they want they yeah. can probably still sell it because here's the thing is is this something that you and i don't like somebody might somebody probably does like some probably That's the truth people like a like a younger snappier mm -hmm. a lot of corn influence and if that's what you get locally it might not be your thing but don't discredit it because exactly. there's people who are gonna like it and definitely get out there and just try stuff because you might you know, I'm, I'm really becoming happy with this this is these are all good in They're their own right five different distilleries that you're looking at doing their all their own products within Pennsylvania and that's just a drop in the hat right and, the, and <laughs> no these, pun intended <laughs> very good I like that and these four are literally an hour and a half from us yeah so and some of them are even closer so mm -hmm. we have to nominate some people for this challenge we do we have to nominate the, everyone's nominating three three jamokes that's sure. what <laughs> uh, so we need to nominate three blokes for this one I'm gonna do Jay from Bourbon and a Baby nice pick yeah, because I'm sure he's got some stuff up his sleeve. Well, I'm, I'm going to go with another friend of the channel, um, Scott from My Bourbon Journey. Have to. Scott's probably got some stuff up his he's sleeve, too. He's probably got some stuff up his sleeve. He's probably going to go, like, and just pull a bottle out. Yeah. Right out of it. Or you're like, you're like, <laughs> we're <laughs> yeah. going a trench coat. And we discussed this, who we really want to nominate. And I'm going to give you the honors. Cool cat, man. Yeah. I love this guy. This guy's, this guy's awesome. He's on the other side of the pond. Um, so it's Alan from the Whiskey Friend. Pumped to see kind of what he comes up with because him being, you know, over in that side of the world, who knows what comes up? Yeah, they are our nominees to do the challenge. And for some reason, you can't. It's not the end of the world, but we look forward to uh, seeing your videos. So from the Bourbon Buddies, cheers. Cheers. cheers.